The team of Ar Rahman Ar Rahim participated in the United Nations Conference of Interfaith Harmony and Human Rights held in New York. Distinguished guests and scholars belonging to different religions like Christians, Hindus, Jewish and Muslims gave motivational speeches on human rights and interfaith dialogue and emphasized on the importance of dialogue in promoting peace and universal brotherhood. Presenting on behalf of our Rahman Ar Rahim network, and our main focus is to spread the message of peace and universal brotherhood. The UN needs to pay more attention to the voices of faith communities around the world. And I'm glad to hear that the United Nations is moving towards that path of forming a religious council. That unless the world is united in peace, it will be divided in pieces. When in this room we are talking about peace and justice, Maybe out there someone, someone might be shooting someone, snatching the human rights. That is why we need to talk about this. There is and has always been a struggle between good and evil. If we can come to the moment giving up saying this is mine and live in the space of saying this is ours, we can have peace in the world and human dignity as well. I can do my best to help or to make difference. My neighbor will look at me and then my neighbor will do the same thing. We also believe that it is imperative that we practice true tolerance, not the kind of tolerance that says I'll put up with you, but the kind of tolerance that says I must get so close to you that I will know you. A special session on what Islam says about human rights was also conducted by the team of our Rahman Ar Rahim network at the United Nations Conference of Interfaith Harmony and Human Rights. Our next speaker, Aliya Suhail, member of the Araman Ar Rahim network, which is a platform that has been working for the past years to promote peace and universal brotherhood. According to the dictionary, peace means number one, in a state of mental calmness, number two, freedom from disturbance. And number three, freedom from war and violence. Again, I ask you, do you feel that there is anyone in this whole entire universe that can provide all of these three things to all of human beings? In chapter 5, verse 32 of the Quran, Allah says, Whoever shall save a life shall be regarded as if he gave life. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, this is Farhan Ali Aga on behalf of Rahman Ar Rahim Network. Viewers, we are here attending and participating in a conference on interfaith cooperation and protection of human rights and dignity in the United Nations headquarters, Manhattan, New York, United States of America. As you all know that the main objective of any government, country or nation is to provide a peaceful atmosphere and a friendly environment for its citizens. And generally in many parts of the world, Muslims and non-Muslims are working together for a bright and peaceful future for their families and for their country. Unfortunately, because of a number of few individuals, a few hundred people, they disturb and create terror and chaos for many people in different parts of the world. The biggest reason for this terrorism and chaos is lack of knowledge for one another's religion, lack of communication, and lack of understanding amongst one another. And there is a great, great need for interfaith dialogue. And as we all know that Islam is a deen for mankind, 
and to provide and protect human rights on the level of mankind, we must learn to communicate with each other. And due to the lack of interfaith dialogue, numerous misconceptions, rumors, even confuse the neutral people at the same time. And that is one of the biggest reasons for the disturbances and chaos existing all around the world today. One can notice that human rights are a common essential among all religions and faith. And that Allah says in the Quran, in chapter 3, Surah Ali Imran and verse number 64, that, O oh, people of the book, come together on what is common between you and us. So we can notice that human rights ordained by God are a commonality among all religions and all faiths. Our Rahman and Rahim tries to communicate, educate, and share the true spirit of Islam, teaching people to respect other people's beliefs, religion, and practices, giving room to everyone the way God gave everyone the freedom to live. So here we are at the United Nations to share these views, to talk about peace, to talk about Islam, to talk about friendship, and to get to know each other better. In the interfaith dialogue and cooperation of human rights and dignity, we will participate in the panel session of the Islamic perspective of human rights and interfaith dialogue. Speak to a number of dignitaries and religious leaders of different faiths and the youth that are a part of this conference. So viewers, let's start in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful.